Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Friday the 12th of March 2021 and the time has just gone 8.29 GMT. And this week's Chart of the Week is the Australian dollar versus the US dollar or the Aussie dollar as it often gets referred to. Um, you can see here from the lows of March last year, it's been in a solid uh, move, a solid upward trend. In fact, last month at back end of February, it hit its highest level in three years. So it's very much in a strong upward trend. We have seen a bit of a move to the downside uh, in, the, in the past few weeks. And this video discusses um, the, uh, the potential price actions that we could see. Are we going to continue in the broader upward trend or are we going to see a bit of a move to the downside? Now, if you take a look at the price action recently, after it hit its three-year high, we've had, you know, we've had the lower low, we've had a lower high, we've had a lower low, and we're moving higher yet again. We're back above this blue line here, the 50-day moving average, which bodes well for the broader upward trend. The 50-day moving average comes into play at zero spot, 7740. Um, while we continue to hold above that metric, it's likely that the broader upward trend is going to continue. And should that be the case, we could then be looking at retesting the zero spot 80 zone. Uh, if we do move to the downside, we could find support from the, the lows earlier this week in around zero spot 76.21. And a move below that could take us back down towards this area, zero spot 76, down towards the lows seen in early February in a zero spot 75.63. Now, it is worth noting, let's look at how much distance we've traveled. Um, since since uh, early November through to, the, to late February, the Aussie dollar went from 0 spot 70 up to 0 spot 80. So it's been a huge move to the upside. Just so to be honest, even if you pull back, back down towards the kind of 0 spot 74 area, the broader upward trend will still be intact. And why am I talking about 0 spot 74? Well, we can see that that zone acted as resistance uh, in late August, early September. It also acted um, as a bit of a consolidation pro um, a zone of consolidation uh, in early December. So even if you have a size of a correction, we could head all the way back, potentially back towards zero spot 74, and the broader upward trend would still be intact. Now, why is the Australian dollar gaining so much ground? Well, uh, why is the Australian dollar versus the US dollar gaining so much ground? Um, well, let's, let's focus on the Australian dollar part of it at the, uh, for the time being. The Australian, the Australian dollar is very much tied in with the um, with moves in commodity markets. Uh, it's, it's a mineral-rich country, and positive moves in mineral and in, in, in commodity prices tends to have a positive impact on the Australian dollar. This here is the price of this is the chart of copper. It's been on an absolute tear recently. Um, not too long ago, at the back end of February, uh, it had its highest level in over nine years. So, so no coincidence. Uh, copper hits its highest level in over nine years, going on 10 years, and the Australian dollar versus the US dollar hits a three-year high. Uh, so we can see here that copper has a, had, had a move to the downside, but it does appear to be kind of shaking off the recent, neg you know, the recent negative trend. And should that be the case, we could look to continue in the broader uptrend. If we do see that, that bodes well for, for further gains um, with respect to the Australian dollar versus the US dollar. We've talked about the Australian dollar side of it. Let's take a look at what's going on on the US dollar side of things. One of the products that we offer here at CMC Markets is Forex Indices, uh, where it's a similar structure to a stock market index, but it's in it's uh, it's for currencies. So you can find that on their products, Forex Indices. Take a look at the CMC USD index. We can see what's going on with, with the US dollar as a whole. So we can see here the dollar was in this sharp decline um, for many, many months. In fact, it fell down to a multi-year low, lowest level in over two years uh, in January. But since then, it's been rebound, it's, it's been moving higher. Uh, we seem to have formed a, a base uh, around here. It, uh, in fact, only um, earlier this week, it hit, it hit, it hit a three-month high. It has retreated ever so slightly from those from that three-month high. But it seems to me we could be at an important um, price uh, it could be an, an important point for the CMC US dollar index. Are we going to are we going to have a, have, a, have, a, have a bit of a pullback before we have another move to the upside and retest the March highs or look to kind of he head back up the levels last seen in December or even in towards November, or are, is it a case of it is going to drift lower and then retest the lows that we saw back, the lows of both January and also the lows of late February? So. If we do have a, if we do, if we do continue to get remain at a range bound, or the bias remains to the downside, 
in the CMC US dollar index, US dollar uh, index, that's likely to can also bode well for continued rallies in the Australian dollar versus the US dollar. Conversely, if we do see a break higher in the US dollar and in the CMC US dollar index, if we do take out the highs of February and if we head back up, if we do start racking up fresh multi-month highs on this market, it's likely we could then see further downside pressure on the Aussie dollar versus the US dollar. Now, if you are going to be trading the Aussie dollar, US dollar, or even just the, the any of the major currency pairs today, it is worth noting um, that at 13.30 GMT, half one UK time, uh, the US PPI uh, numbers are going to be posted. Any signs of you know inflationary pressure uh, at the um, at the at the factory level is likely to going to put upward pressure on the US dollar. Uh, that's all from this video. Thank you for listening. Have a good weekend.